Oh, what a slab. What a slab. Beautiful. Beautiful slab. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hey, addicts. How y'all doing today? I'm bringing a little different kind of video to y'all today. Uh, it's going to be a knife review from Timu. I'll tell you the inches, the case, the size uh, of the blade. Are they worth it? That's going to be the, the ultimate question. Put my garbage right here so I can get rid of it in a minute. We'll go ahead and start though. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this uh, knife review. I'm going to do one video a month on the, uh, we'll call it the bushcraft hunting camping side of the channel. Uh, I mean, it's, it's something different and people want to know. And then the description below, I've got a discount code. You can save up to 30% off. If you've got the app downloaded and you haven't used it in a while, you delete the app, reinstall the app, and then use my code down below, and you can take this knife, which I paid $7.59 for, right here, and get 30 to 40% off. So you're talking about what? Six dollars and something for the knife. All right, guys. We'll go over a few things. The good, the bad. This is the knife. The weight of this knife, I've got my scales right here, is 0.19 pound. It's a pretty light knife. It's sturdy, sturdy made. I do got that on pound, I hope. Okay. Should be 0 0.41 pound. That feels about right, I'm thinking. Anyway, it's got a nice little bevel right here. It's really sharp. The I wrote down some notes. The blade's 4.3 inches. I'm going to take the tip off. 4.3 inches. The handle's 3.9 inches. So the total knife is 8.2 inches. It's got a little place on you for your finger to go through. Tie rope up there and tie it. If you notice, the blade goes all the way through the handle. It's got nice rivets. Wooden handle. I think this knife's got a nice little design. There we go. I'm making sure I can show y'all the design seven dollars and 59 cents is what i gave for that leather case stitched pretty well if you look the stitching's got a good size it got a little design on it very nice snap sturdy snap rivet here it's got a belt loop so you can hang it on your belt What do we say the weight was? Let's snap that back. Point four one, and that's point four one. So it's not even a half a pound. I'm hoping I got it on pound. I hit the pound button, guys. Y'all had to forgive me. Yeah, I'm on pound. Let's see right here. Point four one five. So let's say point four two of a pound. That's a really a nice knife, guys, for the price. See if I can get the design, making sure the lighting, here we go. A little better lighting. The design on that knife, guys. I think that's well worth it. If you're a knife collector, that would be a good one to add to your little arsenal. That's knife one. Each month when I do these, I'm gonna do uh, four knives.
All right. They come wrapped in plastic on this one. We'll get this plastic off here in just a second. I've got my little Kershaw that I use. Pretty good little knife. We'll open this up. The weather's still not great for fishing, but guys, it's coming. We are, we're getting close. Closer and closer. All right. This knife here is a 3.74 inch blade. The handle is 4.13. It's got a little loop you can put a little lanyard on. It's got a nice little bevel right here. Feels very sharp, nice design. I want you to look at the knife material, how thick the blade is going all the way through the handle. I mean, it just goes completely through it. The case has got a belt loop. Smaller rivets for the knife. It feels pretty heavy. See how thin the case is? Some people make their own cases. Uh, the weight of this is 0.5 0.51, a little over half a pound. Got the little design. I think it's a real nice knife. Uh, somebody's trying to mimic Damascus and other knives, which this isn't. This came off of Timu. This knife here was $11.69. The snap snaps well it's pretty good but overall the first knife on a scale from one to ten i would give it a eight this knife here i would just because of the case the knife itself i would probably give a seven or eight but the case i would go a, a five uh, and that's a hunting knife it's got the little edge right here on the next video we'll do some whittling a wood around stick if you like he's going to use it out in the in the uh, woods and stuff and see how that works on whittling or camping that'd be a good little knife for camping though both both of them's a good little knife for camping I think this next knife Open it up. This is the next one. It's got a little hole up at the top of the, the handle for you to put a little lanyard in there, a little rope case. I want y'all to notice this knife does not have a belt loop on the case whatsoever. So you'd have to stick that in your pocket. The case is super thin. See the thin, how thin? The thread, looks like somebody just pushed that through with the needle. The case on this, I would give a two. Maybe not even a two. This knife here. Uh, plastic. The other two were wood. This is a plastic handle. 4.33 inch blade. 3.9 inch handle. Overall knife is 8.26. Look how thin that is. If you had to take a hammer and hit that, I believe you'd break this knife. The price on it is $2.99. For $2.99, I mean, it's really sharp. I can, you, it's got a great edge. But for $2.99, uh, I don't know. If you had this, you could use it for probably cutting string, ropes, maybe stuff to use to put up a tent. <laughs> Much besides that, maybe for cutting 
meat. Like I said, it's got a real good edge. And it just looks like they just ground it down with the grinder on the design. Let's see if I can get where y'all can see the design. It just looks rough. Maybe ran just through a machine. Uh, milled. Probably turn out a whole lot. The whole knife on this overall. I think it would break, but it's a two dollar ninety nine cent knife. But on a scale from one to ten on this knife, I would go with a uh, three overall. The weight on that is point one seven. That's how light that knife is. Point one. The other knives are five times heavier than this one. Okay, guys. Let's get to this last one here. This knife here. They're mimicking. Don't have no hole, but the design, it's designed like a Damascus. Leather's fairly thick, real thick right here where the blade goes against it on the inside. Sewed with a good mill thread. Has a belt loop. Heavy. Let's see how much the knife weighs. 0.35. Let's see how they set this knife up for like the Damascus knives. Trying to make sure the design on that. They consider this one a bushcraft knife. You've got a little place right here. The metal, next time we'll start measuring the thickness of the metal. Wooden handle, nice rivet, smooth, nice finish. Nice design on the knife. You know, the difference on, on bushcraft knives and stuff is right here on the edge, and I guess why they're considering it, it's beveled. So when you whittle a piece of wood, it spreads it out because of the bevel as you go down. The other ones aren't like this. A good looking knife. Uh, price on this was eight ninety nine. Little covers for the tips when they're here. Of course, I wouldn't keep that. Very, very thick snap. Nice, nice design all the way around. Nice weight, nice thickness of the of the leather. That's real leather. Uh, knife, everything on this one's very well. I would give this a, I would say a eight. Now we're we're doing Timu. If we compare this to some of the American knives, it's going to be a little different because uh, everything's made different. The thing is on this is the price on them. Uh, bushcraft, camping, fishing knives, hunting knives, they're all for different reasons, different purposes. Okay. So... Those are the four knives this for this month for February. Uh, we're wanting to get some fishing in. I'm going to show, uh, I did buy me some night crawlers uh, today for next weekend. I'm going to have to go back. Uh, I'm probably going back to five days a week. So uh, that'll give me Mondays and Tuesdays when everybody's at work. That'll be my regular off days. You know, most of y'all know I drive a fuel tanker every day. Days are long. Uh, but I still got my days off for fishing. I want the water to warm up so we can get in the water. But I thought this this would be a good little series. I'm going to make all these videos uh, more than it'd be a series. Uh, bushcraft, hunting, camping knives review. But guys, like I said, if y'all want any of these knives, in the description below, there'll be a discount code, a link. Uh... If you want to download it again, like I said, you delete it and re-download it, 
and you get your discount, you can pick these knives up at a real, really good price. Uh, these are on the cheaper side. I'll go cheaper, middle, and high end. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm retired military, so we want to look at uh, the military knives, of course. So, all right. Guys, I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the people coming on. Uh, I'll make a take a picture here and make a screen for it. And get ready to upload this video. I'm trying to get better on uploading, but everything seems to keep changing constantly. But guys, uh, if y'all like the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. It's fast, free, and easy. It helps the channel out. Uh, I've got a few more things I'm trying to tweak, but I'm ready for fishing. I've got uh, I've got some great ideals. I've got some techniques and tactics we want to use. I want to teach y'all how to catch more fish this year, and I want to prove it by the video camera watching me do it. All right, guys. Remember the motto, take a kish, kid fishing. And, and Guys and gals, this is God's country. Y'all remember that. He makes sure we we uh, get the weather to fish, and I guess he wanted us to take a break because it's been pretty rough for about two months here. All right, guys, until the next video, this is the Fishing Attic. We're out of here. I appreciate everything y'all do. Y'all remember that always. All right, guys, on the next one. Oh, what a slab. What a slab. <clears throat> Beautiful, beautiful slab. Look at that. Oh, yeah.